Okay, Thomas, uh, nice to see you again. You said you were going to have, well, you said actually that the players were going to have some time off. Did you have a downtime? Did you have two days and you just, I, I imagine you lying in a room with cucumbers on your eyes, you know, just relaxing, but I'm sure you didn't. <laughs> do, do I need them? You think I need them? Maybe I need them <laughs> desperately. Huh? Um, you have some, fil you can put some filters over it. And, uh, Yes, I can. Yes, I can. And I, I learned it also over the last years. So it's not my, my, my first year as a coach and not my first year in this kind of schedule. But I had to learn it pretty fast in my, in my, in my actually beginning of my professional coaching career. I had to learn that uh, days and hours and uh, evenings, parts of the days where you need to switch off are as important as the moments where you are on and focused and trying to give energy because uh, this is what we want to do as, as coaches. We want to have influence. We want to, want to have positive influence into the atmosphere um, um, around the team and into the team. And, and for that, you, you always need to be in a good place yourself. So uh, I had to learn it, and I, I think I, I did. Sometimes I struggle. Uh, there's no, no, no secret in it, because you can get lost in, 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 in reviewing the matches and, and looking for answers and looking for solutions for the next match and, and constantly thinking about it. But um, with a dog and with my, my kids, it's, it's, it's also quite easy to, to disconnect. You go to the forest or you go for a, for a little spin on the bike or for, for a match of table tennis and, and um, this, is, uh, this is then very nice and, and, and very well needed also. I was looking at your fixtures and in terms of your fixtures as opposed to everyone else, you have played, like it or not, you have played more games than everyone else. And, and I know you, you've spoken at length about the COVID situation and everything, but I, I guess my question is, are you genuinely starting to get concerned about the integrity of, of just, even if, just, if it's just December and January, in terms of, of everyone playing on, on a level playing field? Yeah, but we were more concerned about our level of competitiveness. Like, can we, can we still demand the same from the players? Can we still push them to the limits? Can we still expect them to, do, uh, to have the same um, yeah, the relentlessness on, on the pitch, to, uh, to show the same determination and to produce the same results? Is that, that what's, what was worrying of, over the last weeks without making excuses? For example, on, on Tuesday, we had for the first time the, the feeling that, that the emotions, uh, like since, since, a long, since a long period of time, the emotions like fatigue and being fatigued and being, uh, um, um, being impatient and being um, like frustrated a little bit um, took over. So we could not, uh, we could not altogether not perform on the highest level that we demand from us. And, uh, but it was the very first time and uh, like, like you said, we had now our two days off. We have two matches, to, uh, two days to prepare the match and uh, we will be ready. There is no, no doubt about it. Looking at your team and your squad, you've lost your most, almost your most creative players in both Ben Chilwell and Rhys James. D did this come at the wrong time of year? I mean, the window's wide open. Do you see yourself doing business in order to kind of get yourself back on track a little bit? I would not say no. But it's also, I will also not say yes, we will absolutely do because uh, we, we're looking for a high level of, 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 of commitment, of character, of, 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 but also of uh, talent to, make our, um, to, to be ready to make our, our squad better than it already is. Um, yeah, it, it, you know, it, it hit us, in, uh, strangely, it hit us in groups, like, like there was li like these injuries for all our strikers. Then suddenly there were all our midfielders like, like out, and now it's all our defenders that, that we absolutely struggle to find defensive players. And, uh, and not only by injuries, but always like on top of it with, with, with COVID. And um, yeah. So in, in, in doing something, it's, it's like, or like doing something in the window and, and, and pushing, first of all, then there, there must be a, 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 a perfect fit. And, and then you have to take into your, um, into your thoughts that, that players come back. Reese James will come back at some point. Uh, 
s hopefully sooner than, than later. Ben Chilwell, of course, needs some time and that this will be in the new season, but, but still we want to rely on him and then still he should he, we want him to play an important role here at Chelsea. So um, this is, um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's quite complex to, to, to think about everything, so maybe no easy answer for that. In terms of Romelu, I know you're probably sick to death of talking about Romelu Lukaku at the moment because it feels like everyone kind of focuses in on, on Romelu Lukaku. Like you at the moment. Yeah. My question, I guess, is where is where's head, his head's at at the moment? Because I know that he had COVID and, and since he's come back, it seems from there, he, he does seem to have, have lost his confidence a bit. Would you agree with that? Yeah, from outside, I would agree with it. I mean, there was there was COVID. There was like, uh, but not straight from COVID. If I remember it well, we put him in Aston Villa, and he was straight away decisive for us. And uh, I remember at half time that I asked him, "Can you play one half?" And he said yes because I thought it's maybe way too much for him. And so we rushed him into this, and he was strong. Then came the situation with the interview that, that did not help to, 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 to clear his mind, I guess. Do you think he's still struggling with that then, the, the, the interviews kind of... I think he's maybe, maybe he struggles very naturally with everything a little bit. So uh, it, is, it would be enough to only have uh, COVID to deal with. So we had the other situation and, and of course he missed an important match for us. And, and uh, I think he has like, I, but this is just guessing. I mean, he, he's a human and he's affected by, by what's happening. So there are reactions about in, in his family for sure and his, his surrounding and his environment. And uh, yeah, he lacks a bit of, of confidence. He lacks a bit of delivery. He lacks a bit of, uh, yeah, of, of momentum. And, and uh, this is what you, we try to reinstall. It's maybe the most difficult because for the, the strikers are, are sensitive, sensitive players and, and it's not only Romelu who struggles and, um, and we don't have in the moment anybody else who, who jumps in and, and, and scores and scores and scores. So, it's, it's, so I agree, it's not only about Romelu and it is, uh, it is about our offensive uh, players in general and we try to help them and uh, try to overcome this, this kind of period because we have trust in all of them, they are our players and deserve it.